Stephen Covey said most people do not listen with the intent to understand, they listen with the intent to reply. What are your thoughts on this? There was a workplace seminar exercise thing I went to where we had to listen to our conversation partner. And all we have to do is to summarize what they said to make them feel fully understood. No response of our own other than reiterating their points. Then they have to judge us based on whether we got their main points or if we are missing important parts or if we added anything they didn't say. Took quite a bit of effort because we are so used to just listening for keywords while our minds go elsewhere. Edit. It's called active listening as a few commenters mentioned. Great exercise. When people think you're dying, they really, really listen to you. Instead of just waiting for their turn to speak. Chuck Palahniuk. Fight Club 1996. A recent cancer diagnosis refutes this in my limited experience. It's amazing how quickly it becomes about them. But that's alright. I've never much liked talking about myself. Edit. Don't be too sad for me. Guys I got my first COVID vaccine two days ago because of it. Hey man I've been meaning to tell you about Saturday. Two thoughts. Speak in such a way as others love to listen to you. Listen in such a way as others love to speak to you. This is definitely true for me. I've had to make a conscious effort to stop myself. It's not a trait I like about myself. When I realize I'm waiting for the other person to stop talking so I can tell them something. I force myself not to and ask them a question about whatever they have just been saying. I don't always realize but I'm trying. Absolutely true. I heard a better version. Applicable to almost all arguments. Not listening to understand. Merely pausing to reload. Looking for keywords in your story to top it with my better story that is vaguely related to what you said. Nods politely. Polite agreement noise. I find the opposite to be equally true, that most people do not speak with the intent to explain, they speak with the intent to get something said. I believe combination of the two has led to a lot of frustration and likely even war. We should all listen to understand and speak to explain. Yes, there are lots of people who refuse to listen what they don't want to listen, and be unable to explain their views in a logical and objective way. Continue. I want to understand. Not knowing the context of this quote, I think it's spot on. I also think it works on two levels. 1. The internet democratized mass communication. Instead of reading a book or periodical, I can now consume variety of media made by just about anyone, and respond to it with the potential for mass viewership. Case in point I have read your question and quote, and instead of pondering on it by myself, I'm responding to it. 2. The internet made everyone a superficial expert. I can briefly look up fairly complex topics and know a single point trivia or data without learning or knowing anything else about the subject. A classic example would be a debate between friends that results in rapid Google searches to find and support points. In this case neither is really looking to learn about the subject. Rather they simply want a seemingly smart response. It's true. But it's not necessarily as bad as it sounds. The wish to communicate your own experience to others, and the fact that doing so is beneficial to our mental health, is still a positive thing overall. I also think that a lot of this is mistaken as self-importance, when it's more often than not a sign of empathy to try to relate your own experience to that of someone else. Absolutely true. I only read this post so I could respond to it. It's true for many people. I've caught myself doing this on occasion and I always try to correct my mindset. It's frustrating when you take the time to articulate coherent, well thought out arguments, and all you get are yeah buts, yeah, but what about, yeah but have you considered, yeah but, insert pretentious self indulgent drivel trying to look smart yes, I have considered a long time ago, and I addressed this in my argument, read it and don't waste my time. Something about this post seems counterintuitive. LA Kings have a difficult road ahead of them if their gamma plan is to survive until overtime. Who's Stephen Covey? The fact that you have a reply in mind does not mean you are not listening. And if you don't have a reply in mind, doesn't mean you are. 
Yes, there is a lot of truth in this, but sometimes it's necessary. When I was a kid, I was quiet and didn't know how to carry on a conversation. I did a lot of listening, but didn't have many replies, and it made for awkward conversations. When I got older and started chatting online to people, I learned how to make small talk and keep a conversation going. And that involved thinking about what you're going to say next while someone is talking. About 5 years later I reunited with an old friend and he immediately noticed the change in me and said I was much more fun to talk to. Now, I'm not saying I don't listen. Because I still do. But you have to do both at the same time and some people are just better at multitasking like that. Isn't asking for opinion for this specific question a bit contradictory? Also, isn't answering to this specific question a full-blown acceptance to the theory it put forward? That's funny actually, because it reminds me of a time when I... That's because people don't want me right. Just want to win the argument. Ego is a bitch. I'd like to hear more of Covey's opinion and especially yours. I care what you think and appreciate your point of view. Say that again. I wasn't listening. That it's highly dependent on what is said and who is saying it. Generalized comments like these which make statements like most people do not listen. They don't take into account whether it's a doctor explaining how the surgery will go. Or your 4 year old explaining how Mario and Luigi can't be brothers because they live in two different houses. It's not a comment made in good faith. It's a comment meant to provoke. In its provocation you come off like a d trying to refute it, because all of a sudden you are the one listening to reply. But the logic is still flawed. People listen when it behoves them to listen. Some people are more curious or gullible, and will listen to anything without wanting to respond. Just absorb. Yeah. But aren't most conversations listening and then replying? I think a more meaningful quote would be, to change reply to retort. Apostrophe. As someone with ADHD take the listen part out of the phrase. Too long didn't read. I think most people just want to tell you things. Some people think you only know something because they told you. Most people say, I'm here if you need someone to talk to. But, despite their intention to be helpful, it is exactly as the quote implies. So, to convey a different meaning, I will instead say, I'm here if you need someone to listen, which is what most people need, in my experience. I know plenty of people who could talk your ear off, if they pause long enough to let you get a word in. You can see them physical anticipating the moment you shut up, so they can keep talking. Two types of people in life, those who can hold a conversation and those who merely wait their turn to talk. Well, I don't know about that. But I think mayonnaise should not be vilified as a condiment. Yup that's right. Mindlessly and thoughtlessly agreeing with you.